Hey everyone, Grow Organ here again. Uh, just giving a quick status update to the seeds and what's going on. So, I came in this afternoon. I probably should have checked on it this morning. I, I didn't. I figured I'd wait till this afternoon to see what was going on. Came in here and look at what has already sprouted above the surface. Um, so what you can see there is it's not a super dark green, it's actually kind of yellow, and that's because I didn't have the lights on. So when it starts to get close to sprouting, like actually coming above the surface here, you should turn the lights on right away. This one actually stretched quite a bit looking for light. Didn't have any light, so I should have had the light on last night. That was a mistake, but it'll, it'll be fine. We can, uh, we can actually just take that stem and uh, bury it when we do this little transplant we're about to do and it'll grow new roots out of that stem, believe it or not. So, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I did check the the, uh, the soil one here as well. Nothing yet, that's not unheard of. Soil does take a little bit longer than the rapid rooters. It's completely, completely normal. One thing I did notice about the, the uh, little seedling in the rapid rooter here though, is look at where it came up. It didn't actually punch itself up through the middle hole. It made a new path up through the rapid rooter, which is unique. I've never seen it do that before. So it's a little strong guy. It's ready to kick some butt this summer. So what I'm going to do, give me just a second here. I'm going to put my uh, head strap on so I can try to do this hands free. Okay. So let me pull this out. Um, the reason I'm going to transplant it right away is because when I pulled this little rapid rooter out, I'm going to show you something. Look at that glorious tap root on that thing. And I want that to be as basically in the soil as soon as possible so it can start expanding out and really kicking butt. Look, you can see little roots growing out the side already. This is ready to go into its final home. So part of the reason I don't like to do the paper towel method is because as soon as that seedling, that little seed sprouts and it starts to grow these little hairs on the outside of the, uh, the tap root, those hairs get attached to the paper towel and when you pull the paper towel off it rips those hairs out, hence slowing its, its growth a little bit. So that's one reason I don't like to do it. Now this is nice and easy, look at it, it's in one contained um, little space. It's it's uh, germinated very quickly. It looks nice and strong. The taproot is glorious. That's nice and tall and it looks like it's going to open up just fine. Um, the soil will probably ju be do just as good. It's just going to be a little bit behind because soil takes a little longer to germinate. So let me get my seedlings soil here. Um, this is just seedling soil again. I've just put it in drilled a couple holes in the bottom of it, and we're going to put this nice little tap root in there as gently as we can without trying to disrupt it. So I'm going to make a little hole for it and then kind of shimmy the soil back around it. Now this doesn't really matter if it's centered or not, because when we put it in the big pots, we're going to definitely center it then. So I'm just going to kind of work this around. And then we're going to put in the rest of the soil. So another reason I'm doing this is so that I can keep the two tops of these plants at the same height, which will make it easier to uh, keep the light level at the correct level. Now you're going to need to get, when you're sprout, you're going to need to get some sort of light onto them right away. Um, I have, I'll show you my little setup here in a second, but I have just a little, uh, uh, like CFL or just a light bulb socket plug for a light strip, which works amazing. Um, you don't have to use that. You can use just a single lamp, um, but you have to get it close. The lamp has to be within inches of the top of the seedling. Otherwise it's going to structure really bad and it's going to be really unhappy. Another thing you could do is you could start hardening off this little seedling right away and getting it outside. Um, I don't like to do that. It'll be stronger if we leave it inside for just even a week or two. Let it really kind of take root in the new soil and get used to its new life outside of the seed. Um, but you're welcome to start them outside right away. You just need to, hardening off means slowly getting them used to the outside. So 
The first day you'd take them and put them outside for an hour at lunchtime. The second day you'd put them out for two hours. The third day you may do four hours and then four hours and then start leaving them out there after about a week or so. So that's what the, the term hardening off means. So I'm actually going to put soil all the way up to the top here. Like I said, that's going to grow new roots out of that little stretchy stem. So I'm not worried about it. So compact her down and I should have centered it a little bit more, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. We're going to center it when we put it in the big pot anyways. So, and that's it. So now I can get it right up here underneath that CFL. I'm going to put this one right next to it and they're going to be happy little campers. Now I am going to take it out um, and water it here in a second. Um, I'm not going to videotape that because I showed you what watering looks like last time. We're just going to soak it thoroughly until there's drainage on the bottom. Um, let me turn off the lights here so you can maybe see what I have going on for a setup here. Now I don't have this bulb in. Normally I have a bunch of plants going at once, you know, four plants or more, and the two bulbs aren't really enough to cover it. But you can see they're nice and close. The seedling's nice and close to the bulb, which is exactly what you want. Now if you hold your hand here and your hand gets hot or too warm, that means the seedling's going to be too close and it's going to start to burn. But I know for a fact this is a good distance. Um, it's almost, you know, three inches or so. And you can see those little uh, bulb, um, I guess you call them a light socket deal for uh, a power strip. You just take and plug it straight into the power strip. You can do a bulb in it. I have a Y adapter into the bulb socket, so I can do two at once. It's not going to overload it. We're only doing a couple watts. You know, it's 14 watts, and I think these are like 22 watts or something like that a piece. So a little power strip can handle the 40 watts we're throwing at it. So that's basically um, it for today. We're going to wait for the other one to sprout. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment or shoot me an email, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for so much. Happy growing.